Hello friends, welcome to a new video on Selenium Python. So in this uh, video, I am going to explain you the importance of having a dot character while writing the child element xpath. So it can be asked in interviews as well. So please watch the video completely. I have opened a Flipkart website for our reference. So first time when we open the site, we are getting this login pop-up window. So we need to click on this close button. And now you can see uh, some uh, set of elements uh, which are uh, some categories uh, displayed on the site. Grocery, mobiles, fashions, electronics, everything, right? So our aim is to find out all these category names uh, which is nothing but grocery, mobile, up to two wheelers. We, we just want to get the web element text of these all these categories. So there are two ways to find out these category names. Either we can directly use the xpath of the category names we just have to take the text right or what we can do uh, we can refer the parent element and then take the child element xpath of each parent element so the later one is uh, the standard way of writing the code right so if you have the list of web elements like this having some common attribute value uh, something like class name uh, here you can see class name is common to all the elements and inside each of these elements we have child elements uh, a tag is there and uh, again two more div tags are there right so in this type of cases the standard way of writing the code is we can write the xpath of the parent element and then whatever we need inside that parent element we have to go with the child element xpath instead of directly uh, using the xpath of each child tag so I'll be making a separate video on how to follow the proper coding standards and how we can form a better code uh, in our next video. This is the child element which we will use to find the category names, right? So the first category is grocery. So let us write the uh, child element xpath. We can use this class name. We have uh, some around 10 uh, category names. Uh, so you can directly use this xpath to find out the category names but I don't want to use that as uh, I mentioned. I will make use of the child element feature. So first let us write the uh, xpath of the all the parent elements. So we have this common class name. So now we have uh, the parent element xpath. So uh, before start writing the code, uh, so I've created two uh, files, one for the test class, test methods. So inside that I have in, uh, initialized all the drivers and all. And then we have the page class method, uh, learn selenium, where I'm initializing the driver, okay. So here uh, we can specify our locators. Uh, so let me give menu items and then I can give the xpath of the uh, category. And then we need to write the xpath of the child element xpath, which is nothing but uh, this one. So we can give some other name, menu item names. So before moving, uh, we know that, right, uh, first time when we open this Flipkart website, we are able to see that pop-up window. So we need to click on the close button first. So let me try to find out the xpath of this uh, cross icon, close button. I have created method for, to click the close button. Now let me uh, create the object of that class and let me call that method and let's try to run the script. Uh, so this test is passed so we can proceed with our case. 
now let us try it, uh, the function to find all the category names uh, get all uh, menu item names first we need to uh, find out all the parent elements right so we can find uh, menu items is equal to uh, self dot driver dot find elements of by dot x path of we can give the x path of the parent element which is menu item and now we can iterate through uh, menu items using for loop so how is this child element concept work so first uh, we can uh, write the x path of uh, the parent element here and then we will go with the child element x path if you put it after uh, the parent element so before that let me uh, rename it to child menu items for uh, easy identification so if i give the child element x path after this uh, parent x path it will be locating uh, all the 10 elements right now uh, we can write that in our code so for menu in uh, menu items so what is the format to find the child element first we will take the parent web element which is menu a menu dot find element which will give us the child element okay so menu is the web element which is the parent element here so menu dot find element of by dot x path again we can uh, give the x path of the what child element okay so child menu item name so this will have our uh, child element now we want the category names right so what we can give a uh, dot text at the end and now we can add some print statement to uh, print out this category names so print off uh, this uh, holine so what is the format of writing the uh, child element web element dot find element of child locator x path where web element is the parent element uh, now let me write uh, when print statement here uh, menu item names are let me also write one function to close the browser now let us call these methods in our uh, test method get all menu item names and also close the browser now let's run the script Uh, the test is executed we are able to see the category names but see we can see only first category name right grocery is printed 10 times so there is some issue so here comes the importance of using this dot character and this child element x path so now what we have to do we have to make a small change in our child element x path we have to put a dot at the starting of the x path okay so if you are making use of child element concept in your script so make sure that you are using dot at the start of the child element x path now let us rerun the script so the test is executed so this time we should be able to see all the 10 different category names yes all the category names are available right so this is how we can make use of the child element x path here dot points to the current parent element if you don't use that it will select all other elements i hope this video was helpful for you if so please don't forget to hit the like button see you soon in our next video thanks for watching bye